Hello, hello. Uh, I'm in insanely stupid, and this is my intelligent friend. <laughs> you, you know, you could say something. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Look, I got a headache. I mean, that's well, weird. I mean... <laughs> Look, I, I got a, I got a headache. I'm not all here mentally. Hello, Bloody Luna. I'm here. Yeah. I, if, I have no idea if, if it's as voice acting or not. Oh, well, this is interesting. <laughs> Start the game the entire room. Why is there a bloody up? child on that bed? <laughs> I don't know. Now, in order There's to be... a bloody child on that bed. <laughs> yes. It's Bloody Mary. Anyways. <laughs> now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You'll be asked a series of questions, that, and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say to answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if it's hard to face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but how does that work if there's two of us here? I don't know. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grimaces, or mistakes. But you must decide on what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> the process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. Oh, I already did a uh, psychopath test. I got a 98%. That's good, right, Hatchet? Sure. <laughs> Sounds about as legit as those fucking IQ tests online. <laughs> right. Very interesting. Start start to a game called the test. Yeah. <laughs> you see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will this will tell you things you already know, and don't necessarily know that you know. What? <laughs> Sure, buddy. <laughs> right. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. I drown a lot of it with alcohol. You're gonna have to get, do way more than just questions. <laughs> mm. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. It's simply nature. <laughs> Listen, listen. I don't think I I don't I don't know what this anime waifu slash twink is saying, but all I know is I want them obliterated. I mean they're right in front of the fire, we just toss them in there. That's not what I mean. Oh for fuck's sake, Hatchet. <laughs> this is you, this is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. You got bonked. Okay. <laughs> While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. I'm like, Jesus, how hard do you have to describe, hey, you're, we're gonna test you. Don't fuck up. <laughs> Oh, uh, welcome to our uh, random test you signed up for on e on on fucking Craigslist. Uh, here's a 25-page document explaining the test before you actually take it. Right. <laughs> Anyways, create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand or realize it. But your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. 
You're about to begin with a series of questions, provided that you are a willing participant. You'll be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. You know what? Instead of water, I'm, I'm grabbing okay. alcohol. Okay, look. I have water. I am sitting back. I think I'm enjoying the experience. Doing you, bitch. I can't hear anything, but I'm doing the spite you. <laughs> I, okay, as I was saying, okay, I have here. water. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, as I was saying, I have water. I am sitting back. <laughs> And I think I'm enjoying the experience, but relax is too much of an ask because I'm in a VC with Bright. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot every time someone or some something dies. You are gonna pass out drunk. <laughs> Let's get an F in chat for Bloody Luna's liver. Yeah. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? That's actually a difficult I'm... question. Because I think people I... that with the German party... No, I don't want to... No. <laughs> I would shoot them. Being treated fairly largely... Like... <laughs> How would what would be fair treatment right. to the orchestrators of genocide? Gen Word that Twitch no like. I would say yes. All right. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? <laughs> All right. So now we're getting into some. Equality versus equity thing. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever invented anything? <laughs> Does shit <laughs> count? Yeah. I mean, I've made art projects. Did your art project smell? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Do you believe you're worthy of someone's time investment? Well, Hatchet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not in the slightest. <laughs> That's a really funny question. <laughs> I don't know why people watch me on Twitch. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'd pretty say. much. Would you say that you sometimes have trust issues? No, but people wish I had. <laughs> With the amount of shit, shit of drama I've had, yes, I'm pretty sure people wish I had. I'm just gonna go answer the questions I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm oh. just gonna co-answer the questions I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. I want to say no. Yeah, I would say no, too. I don't think I have trust issues. Would you be already living alone forever? <laughs> no, I would not be happy living without Busta. Uh, yeah, I would say no. <laughs> Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Yes, I do. Even people who treated me like shit. I do that. And people get mad at me for it. I guess I, like, I generally try to, so I guess yes. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? Yes, I absolutely do. Eh. I don't mind that much. <laughs> but I guess for you it would be, uh, yes. Yeah, that's the only reason I won't watch my own videos, because I hate my own <laughs> Damn. Do you like the color blue more than you like the color black? Okay, so a British person made the game. Fresh. Because <laughs> Americans wouldn't spell color like that. <laughs> I hate my own voice, but it's because of trans reasons. That's valid. I think that's... Maybe that's the reason why I hate my own voice. I never actually thought about it. 
I mean, it could be. I, I actually like color black better than blue. What about you? Same. I mean, I just said same. Yeah. Uh, if you found money on the street and knew it, who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yeah, I would. Do I, I like? Do Do I like the person? <laughs> That's actually a good question too. Do you like them? <laughs> Because, like, if, if I find Richard Spencer's wallet on the street, I'm not giving that back. <laughs> oh, I guess... I guess yes. Yeah. No, you, Finder's Keeper. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? <laughs> what do you mean there by needs that? <laughs> this is a very poorly formulated survey. There needs to be a what option? Yeah. Because what? Yeah, we need that. <laughs> we can only say yes or no. Uh, are you sure you want the answers you see? I don't know. So I guess no. <laughs> right. Are you afraid of spiders? No. No. I actually no, I handle love a spider. spiders. Yeah, I'll handle spiders. I love spiders. Yeah. Great. If you knew, hey, if you knew you would you... emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? You actually, you already know my answer. <laughs> you already hey, know my answer. You knew, hell yeah, that sounds metal as fuck. <laughs> yeah. If you knew that you would be able to be fine, would you fucking do the most metal thing imaginable? Yeah, obviously. Why would anyone not do that? <laughs> oh. The game's just... The game's just trying to target me now, huh? Anyway, yes. Yeah. I, I am actually losing weight. I'm actually no longer 200. I'm in the 100s now, so I am losing weight. I did. Ooh. I apparently am just like, I am apparently just like, perpetually, like I don't gain weight after I reach around four, 410 pounds. Damn. It's like a plateau of how heavy I get. Ah. Uh. So I've been at about that weight for most of the most of the last five years damn so would you say that you have lots of charisma no <laughs> do I have lots of charisma <laughs> well you Lewis is flexing that they have a partner and we don't <laughs> look I have Festus <laughs> In that right, Festus. Oh, yeah, speaking of partners, I, someone asked if I was Arrow Ace because I haven't dated anyone in, I think, over eight years. Mm. Which isn't true because I actually did try dating some guys. And let's just say, uh, they're too horny for my taste. Uh. <laughs> no, I don't. Also, correction, two partners. Oh, two partners. Uh, my bad. Have you, have you ever wished you would be temporarily frozen? Um, hmm. I, I, what the fuck what? does that mean? My mind immediately went to time stop hentai. Why did your brain go there faster than mine did? I don't know. Anyway, oh. probably not. No. This is all very interesting. <laughs> did you realize the last... Ow. Did you realize the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? I mean, I wasn't paying attention to that, so no. No? <laughs> no, I didn't. How the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Does that make you uncomfortable? No, not really. No, why would, why would that make me uncomfortable? <laughs> right? 
Hey, did you notice this incredibly innocuous random thing? Does that make you uncomfortable? Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Okay. This is one thing that I think pisses off Hatchet sometimes when we do puzzle games together, is that I just stumble my way into getting the correct answer. <laughs> you just trip down the correct flight of stairs. Yeah. I think there was one where I just kept hitting a button multiple times and it and it did the answer. <laughs> <sighs> So but I guess yes. That, yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? What? <laughs> nah. No. Nah, not really. I'm hugging my Festus. I'm pretty calm. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus, thus far? We can say no. I I think. Yeah, I think we have. So yeah. Don't yeah. think I've lied. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions this honestly? I mean, I probably should be, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Were you aware there could be potential consequences for answering questions this honestly? Why did I say questions when there was no questions in the sentence? Why would we know that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Were you a were you aware that if you lie to me, I'm gonna shoot you in the foot? <laughs> Are you wondering how do these questions begin to take a strange turn? Not really. No. This has all been no. pretty strange. I, w I woke up in a room with a bleeding little girl on a bed and some random anime twink and or waifu telling me to answer questions. <laughs> right. This started out strange. Would you consider yourself captivated? Not really. No. I've got Festus. Yeah. Festus captivates me. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Uh, yes, but, I no. am. I run in danger all the time. I get myself killed. That's a... That's a very weird answer, Hatchet. How, wait, what did I answer that was weird? I don't know. So what is your answer again, Anyway, Hatchet? I wouldn't... Anyway, I wouldn't consider myself to be brave, but if, if you consider yourself to be brave, then just quit. Yes. Do you view yourself as someone with above-average intelligence? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yes. I don't tend to think about things like that. Right. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? I can't you keep that real. <laughs> no. No, bro. I'm cuddling my cat and vibing. Are you wondering what it was to see you may have met? No! <laughs> I'm cuddling my cat and I'm vibing. Have you got to wonder how long this test will take? Test or how many oh, questions exist in this me. session? <laughs> oh my gosh, this question's perfect. Have you begun to wonder how long? I mean, yeah, I guess now. <laughs> yeah. Now you mention it. I wonder how long we're going to be stuck here in the same room. Right. When the game's actually <laughs> dark. <laughs> right after this question, would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Yes, I'm actually very patient. For me, not particularly. Boredom actually hurts me. Hmm. Two psychopaths and a chilled person giggle in a potentially deadly situation. Very twitch thing to happen. I'll just say no, because there are times I'm impatient, like on stream sometimes. <laughs> Do most humans annoy you? <laughs> not, not people. Humans. 
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> humans, like, humans are pretty dumb and annoying sometimes. Yeah. Do you prefer animals to people? <laughs> well, I mean, how, how do I answer that question when people are animals? Right. Do you prefer this? Anyway, probably. Yeah. Do you believe in magic? No. I guess kinda. Like how, like, magic is such a vague term. Yeah. The magic I see is just easy, simple tricks. Well, yeah, but like... Yeah. Uh, like, it's actually really hard to... Yeah. Most humans accept... I guess, kinda. Yeah. Uh, well, it says, most humans accept the ones I infect with my demonism, or that are already supernatural, are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? <laughs> Why? Well, I you mean, already correction know my gods. Answer. Right. Yeah, correction gods, but yeah. Yeah. Hence you... my hang up on. Yeah. Hence my hang up on the word magic. Yeah. Do you fear death? But... No. You fear uh, I don't. I don't know, kinda. I guess I kinda do. But whatever. Are you attracted to someone <laughs> whom you're not currently in a relationship with? I. No? I don't think so. I guess kinda? I guess I would probably be yes. <laughs> I'm just confused. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fair. I mean, yes. Are you alone? Yeah. <laughs> well, Hatchet, am I alone? If I'm alone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No. Like, are are you alone because no. I'm not physically in the room with you? Yeah. Oh wait, here's a perfect question for you, Hatchet. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? I have like 10 cats. There's <laughs> almost always something watching me, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, the one thing is my eyes keep looking at the big black space to the right. Because I have a feeling there's not, like something's going to start watching from right there. <laughs> I don't know why. Kill my wife a private writer. I need to. S <laughs> I keep leaving. I'm kill me and re enter the stream. Oh no. Have you wondered who I am? No, not really. F. What about you? Not really. Yeah. I I I'm just I'm just here for the ride. Yeah. Have you had shivers at any point during this session? <laughs> no, not really. No. Do you feel like not you're really being watched? All. Oh, Buster, are you watching me? No, he's passed out. I don't see any cats right now. Yeah, no, he is so I guess out. not. So he is a no. boy. If you consider quitting the session early. <laughs> not really. No. I'm kind of in this for the long haul. Yeah. Do you drink water every day? Yes, I actually do. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I put skills Probably not as much as I should, but yeah. Okay. I actually feel watched, but that's just my irrational paranoia. 
Do you eat at least yeah. once per day every day? At least once. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I would say that most humans who have the means do. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that any and the fact that anyone can't uh is a grave injustice. Yeah. Half a meal once is Play Half Luna. Damn. Do you realize there's a high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages thus far? Oh my god! <laughs> I guess, yeah, I don't <laughs> give a shit, man. <laughs> You're getting so upset we don't care. <laughs> Are you wondering uh, what they are? Oh my god. No. No. Not really. <laughs> Would it bother you to never know without fighting them yourself? <laughs> no. No. Is your favorite number seven? No, it's 69, 420. Uh, my favorite number is 33, so no. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? I think that the. I, I mean. I... Life is short, but it's the longest mm -hmm. thing we'll ever do. I mean, that feels like objectively correct. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you like, unless pay, like we take into life some kind of, yeah, like unless we account for like some kind of afterlife, like, yeah. like physical life is like the short but the longest thing we'll ever do. So I guess yes. Yeah. Oranges cannot be compared no. to apples. Do you agree? I like apples more. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? Or just... Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> I read the question wrong. I meant, like, you, you like oranges, eat oranges more. The apples not compare. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... I'm spending my nighttime with an absolute moron. <laughs> yes. Venus is sometimes no, referred to as uh, the morning star. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, 3,000... Oh, wait, no. Th 31,812 combines my partner's B days. That's, that's a weird question for no reason. Yeah. Venus is referred Venus? to as the morning star. Did you know that? I don't think so. No. I know. Cool. Isn't Venus like the Roman god of love or something like that? Uh, did I get cut off? Yes. I said it was. Isn't Venus the Roman god of love, or is that a different well, one? Well, goddess, but oh, goddess, yeah, right. like All right. beauty, affection, yeah, love. Yeah. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? No. There are some people I don't believe deserve a second chance. I generally think so. I believe in restorative justice. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking of like people who did really fucked up shit. <laughs> kind of like the German party leader. No, I mean, yeah, but, nah. I, I always lean towards restorative justice. Right. Now I'll go with your answer. I mean, you're the one playing the game. <laughs> you can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? No. No. Yeah. 
Obedience is more longer. important than freedom. Do you agree? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds what something kind of really fun. <laughs> what kind of fucking fascist shit is this all of a sudden? <laughs> Down here in the cell. We believe obedience is more important than freedom. <laughs> Sorry. Down here in I'm here in the cell. We we got you know you got to obey the Christ more. You gotta have the freedom. Yeah. <laughs> uh. If you ain't obey, if if you don't obey right, then you don't got freedom. I think I don't know. <laughs> I'm very tired. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> we went to a really what? fucked up question to something absurd. Hey, you there. Do you think that you need to... That, that it's more important that you obey whatever authority figure there is? No? Oh, well, do you like... Uh... Scuba diving? Be <laughs> right. Also, Blainer says no. Fuck sharks. Okay, I now, Blaylon. Bla Bla I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're now on my shit list. You're next I love to the shark and I love organization. Sharks. <laughs> anyway, yes, I would love to swim with some sharks. Yeah. Honestly, I would actually enjoy being like in a safe submarine, <laughs> a submarine looking down at coral or something. In fish life. In a safe sub. I'm just, I love the fact that you felt the need to. I'm just a violent demon. Let me be. No. I mean, you have with, disrespected the good noodles. I mean, with the submarine controlled by a, a video game controller, I am not setting foot in that. No, nope, uh, fuck that. Nah. <laughs> Did you realize the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase "I love you"? No. Why no. should I care? <laughs> Do you love me? If you love me, then let me go. Right. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Bright kidnapped me and forced me to come to this recording. I don't want to be here. Do you wish to be loved? I mean, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> we read this game is fun. Where's the horror aspect so far? <laughs> Have you ever felt hated? Yes. Catholics yeah. in my state don't like me. <laughs> Mainly because of the shit I pulled. Oh, I was thinking you were gonna mention the... the various other shit that has happened. Oh, no. Not with new person chat. Anyways. Well, fair. Yeah. I was just saying no. Do you have any Wait, addictions? What, what do you mean? Wait, why did you say no? We both answered yes. Oh. Fuck. I... <laughs> God, you're stupid. <laughs> yes, I forgot. Do you have any addictions? I almost had one. But I stopped myself. I mean, I guess... I mean, I guess I probably do have some kind of underlying addiction to sugar. I used to have an alcohol addiction. Uh, uh -uh. rip. Damn, already failed the test. It says Buck. Hi, Buck. Hi, Buck. I would say, yeah, probably. Yeah. But it's whatever you would do. Oh, look, the British person typing. This test is moronic. Hello. Do you dislike the color pink? I mean, no. No. I this like is, pink. Yeah. Since Brooklyn's here, I can reveal some good news. Alright. So, the good news I have to share is you know how I've talked about being in medical debt? Cause, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I am no longer in four digits, I'm in three digits. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I know. Yeah. Progress. Does the, cra the color gray seem depressing? Okay, fuck you, I have gray colored eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's slowly but decreasing. But I would say no. Yeah, it's slowly decreasing. That is until something else happens. Yeah, watch like tomorrow. I mean, I already have some. I, I did get, okay, I did get a medical bill that that was five dollars that the insurance don't want to pay for. <laughs> it's five dollars. Okay. <laughs> could, color, could your eye color be the source of your depression? No, I had extremely bright blue eyes. Like, they're almost brighter than sky blue. I mean, the brighter color eyes you have at birth, the more dull and dark they'll be when you, when you're an adult. It's a weird science fact. It's and it's actually the opposite if you're born with dark colored eyes. It's weird. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's an actual science fact. Like, if you're born with dark colored eyes, bookworm, your eyes will grow brighter when you, when you're, you know. Oh, an adult, and it's vice versa the other way around. My eyes look like mahogany, and I don't dislike it. I want green or red eyes. And I don't like it. Why did I turn don't like it into don't dislike it? <laughs> Basically, a metaphor for, your, for depression. The lights of your eyes left you. <laughs> oh my god. Do you enjoy loud music? No, my e it, it hurts my ears so much. I've already talked about why it would hurt my ears. I mean, I can enjoy loud music every now and then, but generally not. Yeah. Yes, I'm a yes, metal, I'm metal addict. addict. I can listen to some death grips from time to time. Yeah, I don't mind listening to stuff like that. It's just that I can't have it be like it's super loud. <laughs> Cause it hurts yeah. my ears. <laughs> Do you like to dance? No. No. I don't move. <laughs> I sit here. Would you consider yourself normal? <laughs> no. <laughs> what kind of what kind of question is that? The answer is no. Yes. No. Yeah. Being normal is for losers. <laughs> this is an interesting question. Did you love your parents? <laughs> now, which I parents? <laughs> which parents does this question oh. point towards? My birth ones are Jerry and Momo. <laughs> hmm. Just so that your answer lines up with mine, just uh, we'll, we'll go with Jerry and Momo. Okay, then yes. Have you ever been lied no, to? Don't. Well, Hatch, have you ever lied this. to me? <laughs> have you ever been... I mean, I would have... There's no way someone can get through their life without having been lied to it. Yeah. I don't... I absolutely fucking despise their existence. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that, that's... Alright, Luna. Things happen. With people's parents being pieces of shit. Yeah. Do you get angry often? No? No. I mean, not I get really. upset, maybe, at like a game or something, but I don't like getting angry. Cause actually, after I get angry, I tend to cry. cry Cause I don't like being angry. <laughs> so, no. I don't like being angry. I, I, I don't get angry much. Do you hold grudges? Nah. Now that I can, sometimes, depending on, on the person. 
I just get smug and fuck the person I'm angry at over. Oh, okay. Oh, why? Interesting. <laughs> have you ever forgiven someone? Yes, I actually have. And then they backstabbed me, so it was not a great forgiven. I mean, I guess I, I've probably forgiven someone. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, ha Hatchet, two people I for I forgave was a terrible mistake. It was uh, Banyan McDonald, if you remember that. Oh, yeah, those fuckers. <laughs> have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, but still did anyway? Well, speaking of Banyan McDonald. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfectly timed. Have you ever lied? Yes. No, no. <laughs> I've never I've never lied in my life at all. Yeah. Obviously. Have you ever cheated on a test? No, I have not. I don't think so. Yeah, no. I actually studied for my test. I didn't study, but I generally did well. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. Oh, that's reassuring. <laughs> the game's called the Test. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? No, uh, chair. Uh, nah. What's this? What's my. There's this tree in my state that was brought over that, that is ten. It is foreign from Japan. What are they called? It's like trees. Cherry blossoms. Yeah, cherry blossoms. Thanks. Yeah. 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 I. Yeah, I think cherry blossoms are more beautiful flowers. It's they're really beautiful to look at. Yeah. So no. Yeah. No. Have you ever wanted That's to be an beautiful. animal instead of a person? No, I like my thumbs. I mean, chimps have thumbs. Nah, I'd rather not be an animal. There's, you know, there's definitely been moments when I thought, damn, it'd be kind of nice to just be a bonobo and ev every every <laughs> interpersonal dispute turns into sex. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> so, no. Do you believe you have That's psychic rough. powers? <laughs> no. No. Actually, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just being honest. Life as a bonobo would be pretty chill. Have you, you ever you seen know, you just, oh. You know, you just... I wish I did have them. <laughs> like, you know, you just, like, you just go around, you, you eat some food, and then when you have a... When, when, when you have a disagreement with someone, it's always solved by blowing them. Okay. It's it's pretty chill. Okay, here's a story of something that I don't think w uh, could be explained. Or maybe it can, I don't know. Alright, so with this, with this question, I know I've never seen a ghost, but I remember there was one time we had a really big refrigerator, like it poked out further than it should. So we put the cereal mm. all the way in the back, so it touched a wall. Uh... We start walking out of the kitchen, and all of a sudden, we just hear whap, and we look over, and the cereal's on the floor, the box open. It's as if it'd been tossed. You heard wet ass pussy? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not sure if that could be explained. Maybe it was an there was a vent there or something and it eventually got pushed but you just say cereal in the first no on the fridge like on top of the fridge if i, I said in, in supernatural yeah so it could be a poltergeist i'm like i mean i i think i pretty definitionally believe in the supernatural thanks to being a theist yeah. but i've i've always been very neutral on like on stuff like that human yeah on yeah, um, like ghosts and shit but i mean yeah I don't, whatever I don't everyone's think... experiences are their own I, I mean i've never seen a ghost so i can never answer this question correctly yeah. i mean i've seen that and i don't think i can explain that 
I would also say no. Yeah. Do you dream of the- We do that every night. Well, actually, I have I mean, nightmares. Kind of... I think last night, I think last night, I had a dream where I was going to this, like, small mansion that just spontaneously appeared in my town. Mm. And I had to feed this person's dogs, but the dogs all had, like, a zombie virus, so they were biting me, but I was fine for some reason. And I, I pet the zombie dogs. It was about it. Well, Bookhorn, you're... you're... You're with most of the population where most people don't tend to remember their dreams. I, mean, I feel like most people experience dreams here and there, but it's just hard to remember everything and all that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't. I'm not sure how I can answer this question because I have nightmares more than more than dreams. So I'm. Cause that's my fucked up mind, so I don't know if I can answer. <laughs> it's like, say, do nightmares count as dreams, or are, are they separate? I've had dreams that felt like a continuation of the last. I get those pretty frequently, actually. My my dreams have like a bizarre ass canon. Like there there's like canon events that happen in my dreams that get brought up or show up in later dreams. It's fucking weird. Like, for some reason, in my dreams, there's, like, five fast food restaurants in my town. Like, like there's there's the fucking KFC that I work at, and then I never work at again. <laughs> Are you okay? To, I was gonna go do nightmares count. I was gonna say count as dreams. <laughs> the first two things that pop up is count as creative commons, count in Japan. <laughs> Nightmares count in Japan. Okay. But either way, yes, a nightmare is pretty definitionally just a bad dream. Oh my god, I want the. Type it in. It says, "Do nightmares count as dreams in Japan?" <laughs> Who is searching this shit? Buck says, "Sorry, Bright. I actually own your nightmares. I so you can't pop it." Out. Mine are mostly based on book series of bridge with me and them, or very weird things that are based around me. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, uh... Yes, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Do you have nightmares all the time? Well, then we know the well, answer I mean, right does. <laughs> that was perfect. I watched after we had a, a spiel about nightmares. Make a bad sitcom out of them. There would be a lot of Very me good. being murdered in a sitcom if they're my nightmares, Blay Luna. That could be a good sitcom. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> right. Why did you bleed all over my carpet again? <laughs> <laughs> Bright's corpse. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and it just acts like llamas with hats, but it's me and you. <laughs> uh, oh wait, wait. The most crucial part of it being a sitcom. Where's my... There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? <laughs> yes. Not really? But I, I think I had one. I oh. had a panic attack from trying to sign up for a PayPal debit card. Do you suffer from depression? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you exercise often and stay active? <laughs> I don't. No. I wish I did, but it's mainly because I don't eat much that I lose weight. 
Is there any particular type of food that you despise? Mm -hmm. I think... I guess, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of Chinese food I just don't really like at all. Because I don't like the taste. Ca yeah. Cauliflower is awful. I don't understand how anyone likes cauliflower. Yeah. Have you ever considered yourself emotionally wounded? Yes. Cauliflower is good. You're really... You, <laughs> I will eat the cauliflower. <laughs> you, you, damn. As well as Brussels sprouts. I don't think I've ever had Brussels sprouts. I know I that I love asparagus. I love asparagus. Uh, little grass things. I'm going to say yes, emotionally wounded. I mean, yeah, I probably am. I think there was three times where I just broke down from being emotionally wounded in VC in this server. Yeah. Once was live. I'm not sure if you were a part of it. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. Have you ever felt betrayed? Well, <laughs> I know it. With Manny Aww. McDonald again. <laughs> Aww. Something, something basically everything your family members have done. Oh, yeah. So, yes. Do you ever feel lost in life? No, not really. I kind of do. This is getting mildly personal. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> okay, so here's the one thing that I'm wondering. Because in the options, there's a there's a button that you can hit that says, makes it so you always dash. Uh, it, is this just the whole game itself? Or are we eventually going to be able to move? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh, like, that option is pretty common in RPG Maker game. Yeah. <gasps> ben, Ben! Get up would, here. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No. No. Not the slightest. No. I would just... In video games, I would just lead people to get killed. If you put me in charge of a group of people, I'm gonna have a panic attack within five minutes. Hi, Jerry. Hey, We're making terrible choices. Um, I'm about to be murdered. I came in to watch you, not to see you die? What the hell is this? It's the test. I, I was joking. <laughs> we have yet to move. It's the test. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that is. It's a game where it asks us a, a, apparently like a never-ending list of fucking random questions <laughs> yeah. and right, I have to answer with yes or no. There was one question that said, uh, like, out of nowhere it just said, are you fat? <laughs> and it took a huge offense to both me and Magic. <laughs> uh, but anyways. Anyway. If you could push a button to destroy the world, would you press it? Yes. I would 100% lose control and press it. No. <laughs> but I'm not going with my answer. Are too many spiders would die for that to happen. And sharks. You want to join snakes. in on this, Ajiri? I just found out the lamp exists. The what? The what? It is apparently one of those uh, really old imaginary critters that Americans used to believe in. Uh, kind of, oh, uh, it's like a potato sack with a salt shaker tail. It throws salt on the roots of trees, and hunters would try to seek the lamp out because that's where groups of deer would be. Huh. It doesn't sound like they wanted to hurt the lamps at all, just like find the deer via tracking the lamps, which is the weirdest folklore shit I've ever heard. Yeah. Here's some critters are odd. Yeah. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? No. I guess kinda. A lot of times if I, if a, like, a thing of, like, in an anime or something, I'll be a villain. Because I think I'd have more fun as a villain I, than a hero. I feel like I would frequently end up as an anti-hero. Yeah. 
I would prefer to be an NPC out of the way of everything. Yeah. So no. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't? <laughs> There are people who have never been bullied. Like Elon, he should have been bullied when he was growing up. People bully him on Twitter now, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't think that counts. He's too old to realize they're right. Oh, that's well, that's definitely not the sort of anti-hero I would be. Yeah. I nearly killed the boy. Huh. Have you ever yeah, bullied someone important. else? This is something I have not done. No, I have not done that. And does does picking on my friends jokingly count? No. no. You didn't hurt their feelings. Then. Yeah. Then no. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? I mean, I'm very imaginative, but not sure if that's the same. I I I, I guess. Why the fuck should I bully someone? I, I, I guess I might be, I guess. I yeah, know. I guess, maybe. I have like a million stories I want to tell, but can never get myself to tell them. Right. I consider myself a realist. Yeah. Mm. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Everyone does! And people who don't think they do <laughs> are doing it without knowing. And that's okay. I'm not sure if I've done that in a while. Oh. oh, you probably did when that person who used to be part of the server was going all crazy anti-man. Oh, probably. Yeah, it, I guess yes. Do you find space fascinating? Not really. Who doesn't? Oh, really? I no, I just see it as I, like I, just, a, just just space. <laughs> but we're part of space. Yeah, and <laughs> if you find Earth fascinating, I feel like that's still counting uh, space as fascinating. Who said if I, I, I found feel like... Earth fascinating? I, I feel like this is more specifically like talking about uh, outer space. Yeah. But I, I think that's probably true, but they didn't specify. They just said space. This is a very poorly formulated test. Yeah. <laughs> uh, By a British person. Oh. Yeah, because they in several <laughs> questions they put the word color as C O L O U R. <laughs> British person. You yeah, could have just said the British color. <laughs> yeah, I could have. I'll just say yes because I think Hatchet also said yes. I said sorta. Yeah, I'll we'll just put it that. I mean, you're the one taking the test. Oh, well then. Hmm. You are an artist, you fuck up head. Yes and no. You are an artist. Do I count as an artist? No. Yes. Then, then, am I an artist? <laughs> Patrick, I'm the person of between me and Bright that isn't an idiot, and I know for a fact you're an artist. I don't know. Fen I asked Fen Fen if I'm an artist, and he just kept purring. Circa! I made. I'm trying to learn how to get back in art again, but I always think everything I draw is shit, so no, it ain't answer. No, can I right, it yes. Right, you are an artist considering writing is a type of art! <laughs> I'm not a good writer. You are literally writing a story for your character! Yeah, and I'm constantly needing help for it. <laughs> That's fine! You're still an artist! <laughs> Anyways, I want to strangle you a little, a little. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? This is also Bright a yes is obligated no. Just, I was going to say, Bright is obligated to say no. Okay, there are times where I, f I feel like 
I say or do something on stream with you guys in call, and afterwards I feel like shit, even if it doesn't bother you guys. <laughs> so, Brent, I yes think your no. biggest weakness is needing a stronger spine. I got thrown on a forklift. That's not gonna work. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what <laughs> I guess I'll say yes, because I'm usually pretty nice with people and and check up on them. I guess, yes. Okay. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is an easy question. Probably not. Um, I'm pretty sure... Why do I always forget things like this, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, G Jerry's pronouns are he, him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to double check, because my brain's dumb. Do you, have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain and performing a heinous or egregious crime? Yes! Apo apologies, says bloody Luna. Yes, I have done this. Well, I mean, yeah. For all those who get confused about my pronouns, technically, I naturally have a deep and masculine voice. I... God damn I that there we go. Volume down so there's no weird echo. But I typically use a mix of my of a fake voice or just outright a fake voice because of mm -hmm. well let's just say trauma. And the fake yeah. voice sounds a lot more feminine. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe in perfection. Because I think even in morals or even gods and stuff, they have their flaws. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. I mean, yeah. Perfection seems like absolute nonsense. Because even the, like, concept of perfection... I need to call down to my sorry again. Yeah. But, uh, um, perfection is one of those things yeah. where it's like, how can we even come to a concept of perfection that would be consistent in all cases? Right. I feel like the only way perfection would, would be exist if it was in an SCP universe because <laughs> anything abnormal would exist there I actually it... do not like the idea of perfection because yeah yeah uh, mainly because I've thought about it a lot since uh, in the Christian heaven to go to heaven basically all your imperfected parts are removed or replaced with better things and I always wonder, if you're made perfect by heaven, are you even still the same person anymore? And that bothers me. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's fair. Uh, I don't like perfect. Have you ever stolen from someone? I've already talked about it. That I, as a little kid, I stole from people who stole from me. So, yes. <laughs> Except... How could have you? I... I dead ass don't know. Yeah. I have. Now, now the so thing. Yeah, one uh, uncertain. Yeah. Though the thing is, when I was a kid, the people who stole from me, I stole their most valuable things to them. Basic. I still have it. I don't know where it is, but there's a Pikachu. That was the last gift given to this this uh, the thiever thiever's a uh, kid. Like, you know what I mean. The kid who stole from me. It was the last gift they ever got from their father before they passed away, and I have it. A and I still have it. I still have it. I have not given it back. <laughs> I still think that's pretty fucked. I don't know why. I don't know why as a kid I didn't... There are worse things to do as a kid. Yeah. Remember, I was in like fourth or fifth grade when a group of children almost blinded me. Yeah. Uh, 
I, Jerry, I think I can one-up the thief thing where I set a man on fire as a kid. Anyways, yes. <laughs> Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? That's a perfectly yeah. timed question. Yes. I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I re I regularly I I think I say this pretty frequently. I regularly think about how much good could be done in the world if the right person got their hands on a death note. Yeah. If you had one day to live, would would you tell anyone? No, I would not. I would bottle it. I would not tell anyone. What about you, Hatchet? If you had one day to live, would you tell? Why is it? This is a. I mean, for starters, this is a very odd question, but I guess I would because I'd want people to know why I suddenly dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, well, you wouldn't vanish from the world. You just die. Yeah, damn bright, just gonna well, disappear from life like that. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, like online, I I yeah. would stop being online. Yeah. I think Fair the, enough. I think the reason I wouldn't tell him was because I don't want people to be sad. <laughs> or be sad I mean, when I'm alive. That That's what I mean. Well, Bright, when I first met you, like, which was before you, like, booped into a services server and before you met Hatchet and everyone else, that's super awesome. Because you were awesome, Hatchet. You were still making the dark jokes and laughing when you were upset. So it's obvious you don't like people upset and you cover your darkness with a happy sugar blanket. Yeah. I'm... I barely caught any of what you just said. I Penis. basically said Bright has a long history of covering all of her darkness <laughs> with a sugar cup coated blanket. Uh, and smiling and laughing. Awesome. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? I think Jiri. Yeah, I have. I think I told Jiri most of my past life. Yeah. Wait, you had a past life? No, no what I meant like when I was younger and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, you told me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you trust me even though you are you know nothing about me? I can easily no. just say no. <laughs> yes, and it backfired horribly. But yeah, no. Do you know who I am? We've answered this multiple times. We, wo we woke up in a room with your waifu slash twink ass staring at us, asking us questions. No. What do you, of course we don't know who you are. Well, I know who you are. Okay. That's fine. If I appear behind you right now, would you scream? No. I mean, if you're older than 18, I'll fuck you. Hey! <laughs> I guess that's the question. How hot are they? <laughs> we don't even know what they are. For all we know, they're a ball of unending eyeballs. <laughs> Molly and Luna's getting I mad mean, at me. A ball of unending eyeballs. Okay, smash. Oh. Yeah. That's just like, it doesn't need a gender or a sex. It has eyeballs. If I told exactly. you I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? Not really. No. I have been thin. I mean, if you had electric me. tentacles, that would make it even better. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this reminded me of the yes. jellyfish from Darkest Dungeon. It reminded yeah. me of food. <laughs> of course not. That would be silly now, wouldn't it? Aww. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? I, I am, guess. Yeah, I'm actually very empathetic and sympathetic. You're too empathetic. That's part of your spine issue. <laughs> it's like people are being total harassing dick. You're like, I don't know if I should say anything. <laughs> then one of the mods ends up having to go in and whack them. Yes. 
Would she consider herself to be romantic? I haven't been romantic in a very long time. Let's see. I don't think you're romantic. I, oh, actually, I, fantas I fantasize a lot, but I don't act on jack shit. Hold on, I need to see something. Uh, right. No, not really. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say no. Probably not. I mean, I may do sexual flirtations, but I haven't, not, that's not romantic. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. If it makes you feel better, I think I'm too stupid to be romantic. Yeah. Have saying, you ever been in a physical I'll, fight? I'm, look, look, yeah. look. I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that. He who has a dozen huns. Yeah. <laughs> This is an easy answer for yes for me. Have you ever been in a physical fight? The only <laughs> physical I am reminded of the very first life story Bright told me where he broke limbs of people for like attacking one of their co workers. Gee, I wonder. Literally the only physical fight I remember having gotten into was like with this one kid on the playground when I was like in fourth grade and he he had a bone to pick with me for reasons I do not remember mm -hmm. and he came up to me like ye yelled at me something incoherent and started like walking forward while throwing like 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 while moving his hands like a windmill in front of him trying to punch me and then I I literally just moved my hands up to block it. I hit him on the chin and he fell over crying. Oh. And we both went to the principal's office. Damn. Well, Hatch, the next question is for you. Are you prone to headaches, migraines? Yeah. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I'm always in a pain from headaches. That's I mean... why my brain fires slower because of my photophobia. We're we're the headache club because I get migraines and headaches from narcolepsy. So yes. Aren't we a trio? The trio of, of headaches. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Do you look at the ground when you walk? Yeah, pretty often. When I, I was want to okay, I'm gonna say this, and you guys are gonna fucking laugh. When I was like one or uh, till I was two years old, my head was rather big, so I couldn't I couldn't walk without looking down. <laughs> Apparently, that's one of them tall. Pop yeah. heavy, bright. Yeah. That sounds adorable. Yeah. But yeah, like I I tend to be very careful about how I walk, generally speaking, because. Uh, bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah. And there's a lot of creatures in my house that insist on getting in the way. I, mean, I, I tend to look at the floor a lot because I used to live in a house with cats. That involved a black carpet and a black cat. Yeah. I already know Jerry's answers to this question. Are, are you attracted are you? to the opposite sex? <laughs> okay, fair enough! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I am. I, as attracted as I can be, mostly fictional. I'm bi-romantic, so yes. Have you ever sh have you ever shaved your head, not shaved? Have you ever sh I mean, I've had... I mean, I've had my head shaved, but I, I didn't do it myself, but I guess. I mean, I've had my hair cut, but it's mainly been long shortness. A, 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 like, a massive nose dive because it did not, uh, properly engage in diversity by asking if you're attracted to the same sex. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? No. Yeah. No, not, not really. <sighs> it's a really case-by-case -case basis for me. I want long hair on a bowling ball. What the? I mean, 
A lot of the men I dated recently that were muscular, they were horny and assholes. So no. Ever dance when no one was well, looking? Well, Luna, to be yeah. fair, uh, WWE body types are not the normal uh, body type for muscular. No, muscular I... is typically very different. Most yeah. people are professionals that have to work out a certain amount every day. Well, Hatchet, do you trust me entirely? Who said you're my best friend? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> that one was cruel. Yeah, that was. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I try not to rank my friends, so I don't really have yeah. a best friend. Same. I just said that because we're mean as best friends. Yes, I do. I would trust my life to him. I mean, yeah, like my inner circle of friends, I do trust entirely, so yes. Am I in that circle? Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I, th I think you're above the talk and talk threshold to be in that circle. <laughs> and then there's me with, like, I don't trust anyone entirely, not even myself. Mm -hmm. And again, if you can't trust yourself entirely, how do you are you expected to trust others entirely? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? No, no. Not. there there's yeah. still some vague sparks in my memory. Rama. Yeah. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? No. <laughs> Pro probably. Yeah. I'm the only one who said no. Yeah. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Well, hmm, me with no. nightmares. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You see, here's. Here's, 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 like, something to think about. There was once a man, whose name I forget, that was, uh, a notorious bank robber, I think in the Old West. And, uh, he became very famous for the fact that every time he robbed a bank, he would burn people's mortgage papers, effectively alleviating them from debt. <laughs> Felt the need to mention that. Anyway, I'm gonna say yes. Um, uh, yeah, I think I have. Okay, I've oh. not, I've never dreamt of this. But you know how some, sometimes your bodies would jolt if you fall in a dream or something like that. Yeah, I've had that. Some... I've had that randomly, like, I'm just, like, sitting in a chair, and my body will do just that motion. And I'm like, what the fuck? What happened? <laughs> I'm just doing something, like, uploading a video or something, and my body just jolts. <laughs> anyway, I would probably say yes here. Yeah, I'll go ahead with that. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? <laughs> I guess. No. Yeah. I'd probably I'd probably blame it on the fucking games I play. <laughs> Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yes. Very much so. Oh, yeah. I've had dreams where I'm a wild animal, and wild animals don't wear uh, clothing. So yes, I've had dreams where I'm naked in public. <laughs> Do you enjoy comedic fans. television shows or movies? Yes. I actually like Adam Sandler stuff, so yes. Every time you mention that, my amount of respect for you decreases drastically. Why? That and the Family Guy. Okay, I really don't like Family Guy that much. I just like the memes. Oh. I'm more I towards like... Family. I like The Simpsons more than Family Guy, to be honest. I hate Family Guy, and I hate The Simpsons up to, like... I like them up to a certain season, but I just hate all of them. Fair. Anyway, I... Like, I guess I'm into rom-coms here and there, but otherwise, not really. Yeah. 
Do you like being the center of attention? No. I, I guess? I mean, let's just be frank. Like, you're a streamer, right? What do you mean you're saying no here? Oh, um, right. <laughs> I think Bright can still say no, after all. Uh, one time when one of my arts were made into a daily deviation, I freaked out and started asking people, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? I guess technically there's also the fact like that... There's hundreds and hundreds of people adding that deviation. I was like, what's going on? Penises. Sorry, but I I guess I guess on the flip side, y y it would also be fair for you to say no, right? Because like, at least fifty to sixty percent of your content is made by other people. Fuck you. I would like to also comment. You can say no since a lot of your like out of stream attention of being the center of attention has been murder attempts. Yeah. Do you feel like something is always wrong? They, they, they asked this question earlier, yeah. and I said yes because I have ten cats and there's always something watching me. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if Bus is looking at me right. Hey, Bus. Hey, Bus. Oh, I am gonna disappear into a demon slumber. All right. Have a good night, Bloody Luna. Yeah. See you later, Bloody Luna. Luna. Yeah, the Busta looked at me like, why the fuck you wake me up? <laughs> you dare disturb my slumber? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Before I answer this question, I'll send a, a cute pic to both of you. Of Busta I took before coming to stream. I'll send it to Bookworm 2 if he wants it. That is a picture of Buska. B Buska? Buska. Is, is, is he sleeping next to Ochako? Yeah, I have my Hero Academia uh, pillowcases and blankets. Busta's living the dream. He's sleeping <laughs> next to Ochako. That's why I said he's a, a, a weeb earlier <laughs> in that video. Oh. Damn. Now I'm jealous of your dog. <laughs> you should weeb. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just say yes. Have you ever wondered what it, it would be like to go to space? No. Not really. No, I... Because <laughs> then we would have to go to Elon Musk. <laughs> you could go through other means. They sure. just probably wouldn't accept you because... <laughs> yeah. A lot of things. Yeah. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? I already know Jerry's answer, but no. No. <laughs> they didn't even deny me when I said that. <laughs> well, you, you're you're not wrong. <laughs> Have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> what, what kind of question is that? Well, I would admit, I've never even met a nun. I have. Same. I but mean, no. does it include... Doesn't include video games? Because <laughs> yeah. I've definitely punched the nuns in video games. <laughs> I've seen nuns. I've, I've seen nuns because I went to every Catholic church in my state wearing the gayest okay. shit imaginable just to piss them all off and get banned from each church. <laughs> you would. Yeah. Good. Do you like dogs better than cats? Okay, you already know my answer. Yeah, I say no. Cats are my life. Yeah. I cannot decide. Bestus! Oh, she had a real question. <laughs> yeah. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? No. Yeah. It depends. I definitely prefer to watch things. Okay, to be honest, 
I prefer to read One Piece than to um watch the anime. Because in the anime, they censor a lot of shit. Like, there's this one scene where instead of the spinning blade being caught in Luffy's mouth, it was yeah, thrown yeah. right at the back of his head. It's stuck there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you've mentioned that. Yeah, I, I like reading, uh, reading One Piece more than watching it. So, yeah, like, it depends. Also, anime is behind the manga. Yeah. I'll just say... I'll just say no for now, because it's only one thing. You've got sharp claws, bro. Are you still wondering why it has if you've ever punched a nun? <laughs> nah, not really. No. Do you get starstruck easily? What does that mean? Like, uh... Like get enamored by someone famous. No. I don't really. Yeah, no. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Yes. I'm 50-50 with that. It depends on who invites me. The last time I went to a to a big social gathering was uh my prom in like the last full year I was in school and I had a severe panic attack. So I left early. I could not go to my prom because I was uh recovering in the hospital from surgery to get the cancer removed. Uh, yeah. I went to prom uh. because I was gonna go with, with three of my friends. They never showed. Well, that's just a dick move. What nice friends. Yeah. And then I never saw them again. Got oh, left at... Okay. Left at the prom altar. Oh, no. It, it's gonna sound way worse. The reason why I never met them again... Uh... They, uh... They crashed into a tree because one of them... The driver was drinking. Oh. Uh. They didn't live. But anyways... No. Anyway... <laughs> Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? No. Kinda. My favorite part Kinda. of my birthday is actually spending with people I like to be with. Kinda like why I always stream on my birthday, cause I like to be with you guys more than opening presents, eating cake, and all that shit. That's valid. Yeah. So, yeah, no. Seriously, though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really, just bam right in the face, nun punch. No. <laughs> what is this game? I don't know. Okay, I'm kind of glad I invited you to play this hatchet, because this is getting really entertaining. <laughs> I was just gonna end. <laughs> right. Did you laugh? <laughs> Well, yeah, kind of. Yes. No. But, Did you say what the are you in your head or yeah. even loud? Yes. Yes. Are you now here to somehow no. get the opportunity to punch a nut sometime soon? No. 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 If there's hell, do you think you're going to it? No. Yes. Oh. I mean... I mean, okay. it's... Again, seriously depends on how we're understanding hell as a thing. Right. If I would kind of hope that I'm going to the north exists, now. Do you think you're going there? I would honestly hope that I'm going to the Norse hell. Or Helheim. Yeah. That's fair. I'm gonna say no, because I'm gonna I'm putting it for the Christian hell. That's not talked about in the Bible, yet people talk about it. And it's heavily based upon one guy's reinterpretation of the Norse tale. Yeah. <laughs> Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, game. <laughs> no. Why okay. are you gonna look away? Because I don't want to know the answer. I don't want to know the answer. I hit no, Jerry. I, I... You didn't know to ask that? I mean, I guess... It's definitely slowed down. <laughs> are you wondering what Actually, could sit you? <laughs> Actually, yes, I am wondering that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you more than slightly uncomfortable right yes. now? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. No. Is your mouth dry? Not really. <laughs> Why do you want to know? My mouth is an average amount of wet. <laughs> Okay, I think me being broken needs to be the question pops up to you right masturbate frequently. <laughs> that was I don't think I've laughed that hard in a game for a long while. <laughs> oh. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? Well, what? bitch, what Watch do you think? Watch your profanity. <laughs> Watch your profanity. No. Yeah, no. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? No. Just say cryptid. Legendary <laughs> beast makes it sound like, do you believe in satars and gorgons? No, do you believe in the fucking, in the fucking King Kong inspired eel monster in that one freshwater lake in Scotland? Or do you believe in that fucking big hairy ape man? <laughs> yeah. What is that? I, I have recently started to dislike the stories of Bigfoot because I found out it's basically stuck in, uh, it's rooted in racism against Native Americans. I mean, yeah, the justifications for, like, uh, trying to, like, basically any time cryptozoology tries to justify itself in marginalized cultures, they just they do nothing apparently, but like, totally appropriate. They have, apparently, uh, they try, a lot of them try to say it's justified by going, there's Native American stories about them, but yeah. one person I like watching basically did a crazy amount of research and found out literally none of those things are Bigfoot in any way. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I imagine you're talking about Trey the Explainer's Bigfoot video. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, That's yeah, I cool. love Trevi Explainer. Are you poor with, uh, money management? Yes, you yes. are. Yes. Are you going to defend yourself, right? God damn it! But yeah, the un, the the unfortunate nature of like, amateur, quote unquote research that's basically just confirmation bias the just like shovel into trying to find information like this inevitably always turns into just really gross cultural appropriation and racism the same basic thing with fucking ancient aliens conspiracy theorists Ray, yeah, fuck you, asshole. What? Alright. <laughs> Alright, let me just read this for you, because I just got this email. <clears throat> Hi, the great Dr. Bright. Copyright content has been detected in your video at the great charity donation day 40. The visibility of your video cannot be impacted, but you can no longer monetize it. The copyright owner is now either monetizing it or receiving analytics about it. It is not a copyright strike and does not affect your channel. Uh, Content great. use. The music box. Av Air. Mm. And owners are apparently Epidemic Sound. That makes mm. sense. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Hmm. <laughs> Yay, book from Clit Me Being Broken. Uh, 
<laughs> Thank you, Buck. So anyway, back to poor money management, yes? I'm actually not. I tend to, like, put a lot in savings. Like, I do 50-50 for my paychecks. It's mainly the reason I haven't been saving much, or I don't have much in savings, is because I'm in medical debt. <laughs> yeah. So I'll say no. <laughs> Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you the most in this very moment. Oh, well, I see a certain number. <laughs> it resonates with you the most in this right. moment. Right. <laughs> Choosing this number. I would probably pick 13. Or 69. Yeah. Choose one of these colors. That if he resonates with you most at this very moment. Oh, they don't have my num. They don't have my. Why did I say they don't have my number? They don't have my. They don't have my number. <laughs> What's your, what color? Is your color? Uh, gold or yellow. Oh. All oh, right. Yeah. Was, I would probably choose black or red. Yeah, I think I'll choose black. Choose one of these words that if he resonates with you this most at this very moment. Wicked, sick, plagued, wretched, toxic, vile. <laughs> I feel pretty plagued. Yeah, plagued. plagued is a nice word. Same with wretched, but plagued is pretty good. You don't hear plagued as often as you hear wretched. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Blessed, glorious, divine, angelic, heavenly, celestial. Celestial. I like that word. Yeah. I don't feel any of those things. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most at this very moment. Luck, skill, strength, agility, intellect, charm. Well, it's not the second to last one. I... I guess we're fucking making a and d character or something? I'll go with luck, because I get lucky very frequently. Which is bullshit. I would probably choose luck, too. <laughs> yeah. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? No. No. Yeah. That hurts my brain. Do you speak more than one language uh, fluently? No. Does gibberish count? <laughs> Does gibberish count? No. <laughs> oh, I didn't re realize Booker said bright choose luck. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? I wish I could. I would so love to explore the ancient Greece stuff in, in Greece. Like the, uh... The ancient Greece stuff in Greece. Fuck. Like, to see the ancient monuments as well as, like, uh, the place where they go worship the gods and stuff. And stuff. I would love to see that. Ow. Also, they, they just legalized same-sex marriage over there. Doesn't a lot of gay shit happen in, in Greece and it took them this long? Yes. <laughs> Fascism. <laughs> there's, liter no. there's literally multiple LGBT plus identities based off of Greece. Yeah. Like ancient Greek people. Do you enjoy coffee? No. Yes been drinking it less nowadays though do you believe in demons not really i mean it depends like it seriously depends on how we're defining demons yeah but i guess not probably not yeah do you believe in angels me the christian here i mean I'm say yes i guess like i don't know I guess they might be there. Fuck if I know. Right. Are Not you afraid of, right. of sharks? No, I no. love sharks. <laughs> you have more reason to be afraid of lightning than you have sharks. Do you prefer baths over showers? No, I like showers. No. Showers are nice. Yeah. Do you, the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. It, Just I'm... another reason why I don't like big social gatherings. Yeah. 
Did you see a shadow move in your room a few moments ago? I mean, does Fen Fen count? I saw Fen Fen move. There's nothing in my room moving, so. Fen Fen's all black like a shadow. That's fortunate, because I said no. <laughs> How long is this fucking quiz? <laughs> Do you ever hear the name being called? Hear your name being called even when you know no one is call is calling it. Yes, narcolepsy. Oh. I, I said it because hallucinations. <laughs> I hear it because no. Oh. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? No? I didn't yeah. know where cats, all my shit is. Do cats count? <laughs> cats do not count. I guess I'm the only one who has that issue. Yes. <laughs> do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? I'm surrounded by carpeted floor. <laughs> no. It's saying my room has carpeted floor as well, so no. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yes. Cats. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, I don't. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? I know. No? Yeah, that happens pretty frequently to me. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? Don't think so, though I was extremely scared of that happening when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I I me too. But I had the dumbest idea on how to solve that issue. Which was just pile six blankets only on my feet area and saying they won't grab my feet if there's six blankets on top of it. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I had similar logic when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like my entire reasoning to I need to avoid getting getting grabbed by something under my bed was okay, they can't grab me if every part of me is under the sheets. So, yeah, I'm going to say no. <laughs> no, no, I don't have <laughs> cats that have been the answers to several of these questions. Yeah, um, you touched my boy. There's going to be more than just fucking going around with you. <laughs> Sorry. But we can't, so we can't pet the bus, though? No, you I guys think can pet the bus. I talking to the, ran the random stranger on the, the thing. Yeah. The random stranger that made the quiz Wait, cannot pet the bus. Yeah, you said more than fucking going on, which means I'm talking about fucking them and then murdering them, and you responded to it. <laughs> <laughs> Could we put that in quotes and things 18 plus? Sure. No. <laughs> because that's, like, that's just stupid. <laughs> Anyways. Is your favorite color green? No. Uh... Are you attracted to a family member? <laughs> Sweet home <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Look, I play a lot of games and have a lot of questionable materials that feature themes like that. But no. No. If you won a lottery, would you share the money with anyone? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think mean, I would. No. Basically. Literally everything goes through my parents. If I won the lottery, then basically my parents won the lottery. Yeah. If you could be a, the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No. 
No. That sounds like a mass headache. Do you ever wonder what it would be like in prison? I mean, yeah, but I also know that it's horrific. No, I never actually thought about it. Do you like fishing? <laughs> we go I've never to, gone fishing. We went to a bunch of dark questions to just, do you like fishing? <laughs> I mean, fish are cool. I'd like to go, like, net fishing at some point in my life, find a little stream and catch whatever I can and release it, but I... no. Yeah. No. I've never gone fishing myself. Do you like hunting? No. I, I actually... I'm against it to a part, like... I mean, it's good... F like, like if, there, if there's animals overpopulating, or, like, foreign animals, like... Happy uh, harming the environment, then yeah, go hunt the bitches. H hunt, uh, hunt the bitches. But, uh, the, un yeah. the unfortunate thing yeah. is that hunting has become a requirement in a large amount of places. Yeah. Because we got natural predators. Like Florida. Also, yeah. uh, there are cases of things like deer where things are not overhunted, but yeah. uh, overhunted. So if some females are not hunted, then their population will eventually do a deep dive because there's no room for anything besides almost entirely females. Yeah. Do you like camping? The only time I've ever been camping really? is when we put a, a tent up in the living room. <laughs> I went to a Christian, like, week-long camp when I was in third grade. Oh no. That was pretty fun. Oh. Why'd you why'd you say oh no? Because I've always heard bad experiences about Christian camp from people who are not Christian. <laughs> well, I mean I was Christian at the time. Ah. Besides that, it was just like eh, it, it was a pretty nice experience. Okay. Although I think it's really funny in hindsight that they had a screening of Beauty and the Beast and talked about how that's how your love with God should be. Um, Beauty and the story about Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> it's actually not about Stockholm Syndrome. That's just a very common like misconception. People like to skew it or like make that twist. But really, it was uh, mainly crafted by a gay man who was dying of AIDS. Oh. So he took two outsiders, he made it into a story of two outsiders finding solace in each other. He actually taught the beast how to read. Well, I mean, like, that's... Like, like in the like, original that's... story, you, like, actually... I think her Hitch is mainly talking again. about the Disney version. Yeah, and talking about the Disney version, too. Not the modern one. Oh. I mean... I mean, like... Yeah, but it doesn't change the fact that the story fundamentally surrounds a literal kidnapped person falling in love with their kidnapper. Well, she technically isn't kidnapped. She gets like she, a few... She, few... she traded places with her kidnapped father to yeah. buy his freedom. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> That's pretty unambiguous. Yeah, but anyways, um... Do you like guns? <laughs> yeah, guns are cool. Yeah. I like exploding guns. Are you getting tired of answering questions? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Yeah. I was hoping the stream wouldn't take too long and I could do my own stream of Darkest Dungeon. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of ace. shit I'm into. You can be ace and kinky. Ice are the. Oh, wait, not ice. Ice. <laughs> Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? What? I don't. I guess. What? What, what does that mean? That's a common <laughs> saying. Do you always keep your promises? I try to. I mean, 
I tend to avoid making promises because I'm such an unreliable person. Fair. Also, I just realized something. The P with, like, the bloody help. Yeah. The P has, like, a, a thing coming up off the top of it, which yeah. makes it look like an old-fashioned thorn character, which is is the sound, like the TH sound. Yeah. So if that's a thorn, then that word is actually help. <laughs> it's help. Yeah, would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Well, Hatchet. I guess? Like, it really depends, but I guess, yeah. I, I believe I believe everyone's lied to everyone. At least once. Nah. I don't think I've lied to everyone I've met, but everyone does lie. Yeah. Are you an only child? No. Oh. Now that one's hard to answer. Because the question is, does it mean at all or currently? Ah. Uh, because I have a sister. Right. So what does this mean? Right. <laughs> I, 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 I'll just say no. <laughs> Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I have never, I have never been, been drunk. drunk. <laughs> so I guess no. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like tattoos? Yes. I want I, I want to get more tattoos, but I'm in fi medical debt. Tats are pretty cool. I'd like to get ink at some point in my life. You still there, Jerry? Yeah. Alright. Just <laughs> Do you enjoy being high in any form? No. No. I mean that really, really depends. <laughs> yeah. You get high off of substances, but like during some rituals I've felt almost high. Yeah. And like that. But like I, I don't use substances. Yeah, so you I don't need so. to use a substance of any kind to have a feeling of highness. Uh, do you believe you have a soul? Yes. I mean, I, I, I kind of hope. Yeah. I kind of subscribe to the Norse concept of the multi-part soul, so yeah. Yeah. Did it's you cry this thing. week? <laughs> Would you say, Jerry? I was just going to say, ancient Egyptians believed the soul was in two parts, the Ka and Ba. Yeah. I think, like, depending on the interpretation, which, granted, we don't have very much information on it because a uh, cultural big G word, but I think the Norse multi-part soul had, like, three or four parts, depending on interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, have you cried this week? I have not. Uh, yes. I I rewatched the entirety of Don Machi, and that show always makes me cry. I technically cry a bit every day due to my photophobia. Oh. So it's unrelated to being depressed. My eyes just do it. Are you because... upset with someone right now, guys? No. That's it. Oh, boy, is that a hard question to answer. <laughs> uh, are you okay? <laughs> not really. I'm not. Oh. Is there someone you're not completely honest with daily? What? I don't think. I Like, like I guess it's asking, like, are you dishonest to a particular person daily? <laughs> Bookham says, yeah, myself. <laughs> oh, I... Th oh, that oh. one hurts. That hurts. <laughs> oh. Ow. Book just shot me. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. Call the police. Book just shot me. With words. <laughs> I guess no. Yeah, no. 
Do you understand how this works yet? No. What is that? What does that? What? <laughs> this guy is hurting us. <laughs> Damn, let me call y'all out. Yeah. If you answer this question twice, your truths may change. It's not about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them and the combination you answered, uh, answered them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? I hate it, but I understand now. I guess, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of guess it. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? No. I kinda. <laughs> I want this to be over. Right. Yes. We've been answering these stupid questions for over like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Probably close to. It's two hours, actually. Two hours now. Yeah. If I were to tell you that that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this just as a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? No. I mean, yeah. I would. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Kinda, I guess. I mean, if you, if... All of you guys in this server and book room talked about just leaving and not coming back. I, I, as a joke or something, I'd probably be a little bit afraid of that. But no, I, not really, because I don't think I would be abandoned or anything. All right, Jerry, you know what we gotta do. What? Oh fuck you. <laughs> we gotta you... abandon Bright. Are you afraid of dying alone? No, I have Busta. Busta will outlive me. Oh, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> Both because now we're, like, <laughs> contemplating a dead dog, or contemplating <laughs> you having a shorter lifespan with, from now than a dog. Oh, um, I hate to bring it to you, Bray. <laughs> this book. Or... Anyway, I I guess kinda, I don't know. No. Sag. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No. I guess I've I guess I've been worried about that at some point. No. Are you sure you're not worried about it, Sap right? After all the times people have tried to kill you? Really? I have guns and sword. <laughs> Yeah, I actually recently bought ammo for the guns, so they're loaded. Fancy. And they work, I tested them. <laughs> Are you always on guard, one waiting to fend off an attack? Speaking of no. which... <laughs> yeah, no. Do you feel like I know you yet? <laughs> Not really. You're just no. like a 2D twink slash waifu fucker in an RPG maker game. Yeah. Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? How many times am I gonna have to say yes, cats? <laughs> I'm gonna have to say no because my room is pretty quiet. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped the questions answered honestly or dishonestly, to close a tide to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding uh, reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. <laughs> okay. I need skip questions in this game. Yeah, can we? That's a thing. Based on what you told me, this is what I can conclude. This is all going to sound very blunt and direct, but listen up. You got to start taking life a bit more seriously. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I saw myself getting cut off a lot, so hold on. Whoa. You have to take life more seriously, immediately leave. Never <laughs> bring the damn. <laughs> yeah. I hate to start this off so glumly, but you need a swift kick in the ass. I'm... <laughs> 
just being real and honest with you right now. You've got so much potential and you're not taking advantage of it. <laughs> I didn't come... I didn't come here to get called out by some anime waifu slash twink guy in a bloody basement. Yeah. I don't know what their gender is besides annoying. Gender is annoying. <laughs> You can blame others around you, you can blame your circumstances, you can blame yourself, but no matter what, none of that matters at this point. You need to get going and you need to get the ball rolling. Easy for you to say, you 2D pixely bitch. <laughs> yeah. Do you even realize that you could be a major star? Do you even realize just how incredibly talented you are? You don't, do you? You don't even understand how much potential you hold within. What? Or maybe, I don't get it yeah. Or maybe you do realize it, and that's what you're afraid of. Maybe it's not a fear of failure, but a fear of success. You're holding yourself back subconsciously. Again, How is this a horror game? Again, I didn't come here. I, 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 I didn't come here. They get called out by some fucking wink. In an RPG maker game. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Maybe you've already accomplished a lot. Maybe you feel like you've already done enough. But you and I both know that you can go further if you really wanted to. You need to pull your pull your head out of your ass and get your shit together because the world needs you more than you can even imagine. You're gonna do amazing things in life, but only if you decide to. I know this isn't what you were expecting, and maybe it, it it isn't even what you wanted to hear, but enough time has has been squandered. Seriously, you are an impressive specimen. You can do incredible. You can do incredibly things. Should that be incredible, not incredibly? Yes, yeah. you are right. That means you have you, better grammar than the twink and or girl. <laughs> you could do incredibly things. Yeah, you can do incredibly things. And not just one or two. You can do a lot of amazing stuff if you really put your mind to it. It's absolutely imperative, however, that you stop looking for reasons not to get things done. And, just, and you turn your brain off for a while. Stop thinking, just do it. Stop I dreaming, like, just act. <laughs> Nike's may commercial. I just, may I just say, not only does it feel like the, they're making a lot of assumptions, like they will automatically know some things, a lot of things about a person by a bunch of random disconnected questions, but I also feel like parts of this little rant is very tone deaf to anyone with ADHD. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was starting to think. Get started immediately. Stop taking breaks. Stop procrastinating because here's the biggest truth. Your time is ticking away. You can still be a major success, even more so than what you've already managed to accomplish in life at your highest point. But your chances are further limited as the sand of the hourglass falls. So get going. It doesn't matter what you've done. It matters what you still got left to do. Yesterday doesn't mean shit. And today's the day that we've got to face. I know this sounds very harsh, but I promise you, it comes from a place of love and, and adoration. Because I want you to be the very best possible version of yourself. And for you to go as far as you want... As you know that you can inside, please, I urge you. Do not waste your potential and shoot for what you've always wanted to accomplish while you still have time to do so. You, you never know when your time will run out. Your secret wor word is chaos. Remember this word. This will come in handy. What? Take the secret word that has been assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We'll be selecting one of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. 
is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be part of this upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your, your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know, you've been, I know they've been some help to you and they aren't yet and will make all sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test hypothesis rising, the test final revelation, and the, and the testing chamber on Steam if you enjoy this installment. You can also find the journey series and the advisor series, which we encourage everyone to try. If you'd like to support us further on other blah blah blah, so much support we appreciate. That was it. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> that was a horror game. And the horror was wasting two hours on that. Wait, you can't even click the check out button. Yeah, I think it's literally just like check out our other games. Like it's 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 combining the two lines to say one thing. <laughs> You know us, game person, so you can't love us, so fuck you. <laughs> I think I want to play something else, obviously. So, Hatch, if you want to do your own stream, you can. What would you, what would you be doing? I'm going to look at my games first. It's, it's definitely going to be horror-oriented. See how long this take will download. Uh, only three minutes. Yeah, we can play this. This is not horror horror oriented, but I think Catch It will love it. What is it? Sucker for love. Oh. What do you mean that's not horror oriented? I mean. I'm talking about like jump scares oriented and stuff like that. <laughs> there is significantly more to horror than jump scares. I know. Anyway, but the true horror is what we hide from ourselves. So out of 10, what are your opinions on that last game, The Test? I don't know, a 5. <laughs> Jerry? Uh, I have a general disinterest with it, and I need to poop. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. <laughs> have fun. I'm gonna go, and then go poop. No. Uh, have a good night, Jerry. Yeah, good night, Jerry. Good night, have it, and good night, Bright. I think I am also going to head off to do my own stream. Okay. So have a good night, bro. Yeah, good night. Where the fuck is the Where the fuck is the fucking biscuit? Where the fuck hang out? <laughs> That's amazing. Well Bull Corner will just be me and you. <laughs> Don't forget to change the stink string category. I will hatch it. 
Have fun on your stream. God, I had this game. So you know what? I'll save Sucker for Love later. So I'm gonna play this one. It'll take five. I uh, know it'll take three minutes again. I forgot I had. I live under your house. I need to hit caps lock. So this is going to be a mole person. I need to turn off caps lock. All right, uh, bookworm. Um, what do you think of the things I changed with the stream stuff? <laughs> and it's downloaded. Let's play. And of course, you go full screen. God damn it. Come on, OBS, pick it up. Oh god, things are... Oh dear goodness. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. my phone out. I don't know why my desktop thing is showing up. God damn it. Man, I just want to make sure. Everything's doing great. You see the mouse moving in any way? I have no... I don't think so. God damn it. No, do it this way. Yeah, mouse moving. 
see mouse move. Yep. Oh, we got a DLC. I got the DLC. I know I had a DLC. Well, we're gonna go main story. I open my eyes. Here I am. Home again. It's such a wonderful feeling. As usual, no one. That's good. That's very good. I like being alone. This is the main... <coughs> Sorry about that. Main hall. How nice it is here. Because every time I come here, I feel joy and pride. Because I dug all these holes. Hmm. I don't even know which hole to go into first today. Alright. One, two, three, or four. Which one? I don't know what the eye does. One, two, three, four. Two. Rarely go outside, especially since he's waiting for me on the way. There's a spirit standing right at the exit. Every time I pass by, he starts talking to me. I don't... I don't like to I don't like to intercourse with him. What? <laughs> so every time I go back and he just talks to me, he's like, oh fuck, I guess gotta fuck him. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that does nothing. I didn't mean to do that. Ahead of me is a is my pebble space, where I keep the different stones I find during my excavations. I like to look at them, to stroke them. Oh, how I like to stroke them. <laughs> this is- I'm gonna be clipped from most, so much shit this stream, aren't I? Sometimes I even dream about stroking a stone, and, and the feeling is so real. I can feel it at the tip of my fingers. I love stones. Found a rock sharp enough to cut through someone's belly. Oh, that's great. Okay. This is my sleeping place. This is where I usually sleep. Although I can sleep anywhere, I still prefer to sleep here. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep yet. Every tunnel is different. For example, this one is narrower than the other. Sometimes I think I might get stuck in it. And then my heart starts beating harder. My whole body gets tense. I can't help it. I have to move slowly if I want to get out of it. I love this feeling. What the fuck are you? Oh, she died when I was born. Or so it seemed to me. I never knew my father, and maybe a creature like me has no father at all. For as long as I can remember, I have been alone all my life. At first, I just watched her body, hoping maybe something else would crawl out of it and I would have a new relative. However, this did not happen. I talked to her body from time to time out of loneliness. Though I mooed and made different sounds rather than spoke, I had to eat, it, eat its various parts because I was hungry. I am grateful to her. If not for her sacrifice, I would have died. Over time, I began to notice that her body was crusting over, and the places I had bitten were getting s scarred. I realized that she was, she was still alive, so I started eating her body more carefully, trying not to take too big of a bite. Layer after layer of her body grew a kind of crust, eventually forming a cocoon through which I could no longer penetrate. I don't know how much time I had passed since then, but I waited and waited long enough for something to happen, but nothing happened. It's a pity she never saw what a beautiful creature I had become, and many tunnels I had dug. Well, now I'm sure I'm all alone in the world. Great. I'm tired of worrying about her.
what the fuck? I am I playing? Like outside, especially. Well, I checked all my holes. I think. I didn't do the walls and the surroundings of this place. Surprisingly, it's always been this way. I can't Im even imagine how such a wonderful place came to be, as if it had been prepared especially for me. Look at that, what a beautiful orifices. There are no favorites here, all equally pleasing to me. That's why I sometimes squint my eyes and rush into the tunnel as if at random. Something I missed. Oh! What the fuck? They're laughing at me. Every night when I try to sleep, they come to me and make fun of me. They laugh and have so much fun when I cry. They watch during the day and wait for me to do something stupid, looking for opportunities to make fun of me so they can come and laugh at night. Sometimes they talk to me, they whisper things, they want me to go outside. After a night of torture like this, I usually wake up tired and hungry, so I crawl outside in search of food. Ah, what a terrible noise. Ah, I won't stop, what the hell? I don't seem to have a, any other choice. I have to go outside and see what's going on. There you are. I know you show up soon. It's because of those noises, isn't it? I don't want to leave my home. Maybe it'll subside on its own? Nonsense. Maybe they came to take your home. Maybe they came for you. Who knows what's making those awful noises? You must come out. Okay, so I'm out. And then what? We know what's next. The same thing you always do. The same thing you do when you're hungry. What makes your breathing quicken and your whole body tingle. It's time to go outside again. As soon as I crawl out into the open air, a disgusting sight came into view. There were, there were metal creatures everywhere, and a horrible looking structure shirt stood before my eyes. I had no specific plan of action, but one thing was obvious to me. There is construction going on, and they are building right over my head, and something has to be done about it. There were too many people around, and I couldn't act out in the open. I had to wait for the right moment, and I started watching. You vile creatures will pay for disturbing my peace. Yeah, bees, bees, bees. What should I do with you? I have to be careful. If they find me, it's all gone. But I can't do any, do nothing either. Strength is enough to deal with only one of them. Maybe if you... If you kill one. My hunger is getting stronger and stronger. No strength to hold back. Something has to be done. Bookworm kill or spare? Yum yum yummy bee. This is my skull room. After the first time I ate a human, I I lay tired as outside and didn't even have enough energy to crawl back home. The very first one I had I had was some guy sitting in the woods drinking beer and talking to himself. At first I didn't want to do anything to him. I was just interested in watching him. When he noticed me he started laughing out loud and pointing his finger, and then he suddenly picked up a stick and started hitting me with it. When it was over, I lay there for a long time looking at his skull. Over time, I have accumulated so many skulls that sometimes I burrow inside this pile and gradually fall asleep. Worker skull. Another skull to my skull collection. 
I have absolutely no memory of how it, it all happens. It's like I'm in a wild ecstasy and then it's over. My stomach is full, and my breathing is heavy, and I want to sleep. Eventually, the house was finished. Different people began to come and go from the house. The unbearable stomping was causing me to have anxiety attacks with every knock. What if they find me? What if it never ends and I have to move somewhere else? Where would I go? I don't have the energy to dig new tunnels. From time to time, I had to crawl out and see if everything was okay. If they were looking for me. For some reason, I had the distinct feeling that they had to come to hunt me down. Then one day, people came in and dragged a huge number of boxes. A woman in a blue dress yelled at them and waved her hands, and then everyone left. The woman stayed in the house. Time passed, and no one else came to the house. It was just this woman. Well, she doesn't look like a threat, I thought. However, pretty quickly, my life turned into a nightmare. Pretty much my entire living area was right under this house. Every action she took, every step, every sneeze echoed through the depths of my sanctuary. Her life became part of my life. Gradually, I got to know her schedule. What she does, how she does it. I knew all her habits, the rhythm of her gait. I began to feel that my sleep was disturbed. I just couldn't sleep with something constantly pounding, muttering, and shuffling over my body. In a few hours when it, I did manage to sleep, those ghosts of the night would come back to haunt me and make fun of me. Oh yes, now they really had a lot to laugh about. Thus, my torture became a 24-hour routine. I have to do something about it, even at the risk of being caught. At the risk of losing my home. Who am I kidding? I don't have a home anymore. She took it from me. I must get out and stop this nightmare. Chapter 1. Love? A thrill of excitement overwhelms me. I no longer have the strength to hold back and watch from the sidelines. It's time to find out who lives above me. I need to look around carefully before I act. Oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute, what? This is the first time I've ever been inside a human house. There's so much space, it makes me sick. The only thing worse than this is the outdoors. The fuck? It's locked. I was not expecting this. What a horrible, terrifying sound. I'll have to deal with that thing. It scares me. I remember people looking at these boxes here. I wonder what's in them. Well, I checked every room I could. Besides this. That's it. There she is, lying in front of me. All that's left to do is take the first step. But don't... But I don't dare why. Something is wrong. My mood is not the same. I don't feel the same rush of energy and unbearable restraint as before. Well, maybe I should come back later. Apparently now it's not the right time. Yeah, I should definitely keep an eye on her. Maybe it's a trap. Well, until next time, Birdie. Why couldn't I kill her? And all the sounds she makes now she doesn't... don't seem so disgusting to me. I would even say that I've become interested in hearing what she was doing. There's water running down the pipe somewhere, and here... and here she seems to be taking things out of boxes. Huh. I wonder what she's keeping in them, after all. I think when I was lying at her door, I felt something strange. A feeling I've never had bef before toward another living creature. And so I took a pile of skulls and 
I, so I look at the pile of skulls and I want to take some of my best skull, my dearest one, and take it to her. Leave it under the door somewhere. What is happening to me? I can't tell if I'm a human or a monster. She's not here. Strange, the bed is empty, and apparently she's not in the house either. Where could she have gone at this hour? I have to leave what I brought for her and hurry back to the window in case she comes in. Here you are back again, but something has changed in you. Nothing has changed in me, everything is the same as before. Is it? I thought you liked being alone. It is, and I'll always be alone. I don't need anyone by my side. Why did you hesitate when you had a chance to kill her? What are you hoping for? What do you think will happen when she sees you? Same thing that always happens. Shut up, you mere your mere appearance will cause her to vomit. You're different from her. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Or do you think that she'll move here? <laughs> Maybe. But only if in pieces, right? Shut up, you vile spirit. I'll prove you wrong. I'll go back to her house right now and wait in her bedroom. And we'll go back to my place together, you understand. <laughs> I told you, you've changed. Alright, Bookworm, I'm about to die. Um, go ahead and say your eulogy right now. Because I'm going to die. Oh, <laughs> Note addressing Mark. Mark, who is he? Right, she died as she lived. A dumbass. <laughs> Note tells him to remember to pick up the box from the nightstand that contains the candles needed for. Understand, that's a lot of words I don't know. Damn it, Mark, we did it. Take it to the basement. Pay attention. It's still moving. Should we just dismember it right in the basement? Oh, but it hurts terribly. What happened? I don't remember how I got here at all. I read the note and then... Ah, it hurts. I can't remember anything. I have to go home. Okay, so it was a trap. Well, the front door is open. Chapter 2, Betrayal. <laughs> this is the tent of those pesky campers. They obviously shouldn't have set up camp near my place. Oh, I gotta follow the glowing light stuff. Hey, bookworm, would you? It won't be long before I'm home again. Would you watch me if I was a worm monster on stream? Backpack is remarkably similar to the one 
the little man had. I remember how in some fit of rage and hunger I killed him, and books fell out of the exact same backpack. I took them, that's how I learned to understand the language of humans. What's going on here? Oh, that's where it was. Ah, there we go. What the fuck? What is this, salt? I wasn't here before. My body feels weak and sleepy, so I think I should lie down for a while. But I need to go first. Did it really work? Why is this thing still moving? Fuck, something is wrong, Mark. I told you we should have dismembered it. At least we had a chance in the basement while it was passed out. You know, it wouldn't help anyway. It can only be killed through a ritual. That's what the book said. The whole body feels as if it's, it is weightless. I can't move. I can barely look from side to side. What's going on here? That's her. The girl I risked myself for by getting out. Who's that with her? I don't remember him. What an ugly thing it is. Do you think it knows what's going on? Who cares what that thing understands, Mark? It killed our father. Why doesn't it... It die... Is what worries me. Ugly. Why does she say such hurtful words when she didn't like what I brought her? And this is after all we've had? What a fool I was. I thought we were made for each other. It seemed to me that I knew her, her well. That maybe somewhere deep down... In her soul, she guessed about my presence and was waiting for me to come. Are you sure we haven't forgotten anything? Solomon's cell is holding it together, but I don't see foam from his mouth or blue flames or anything like that. Holy oh, shit, Mark. You're asking me that? Well, yes, I'm asking you. You have the book. That's what I th thought would happen someday. I mean, that's a good thing. Maybe I sh should really die. Why should I live? She treats me like that. I feel like I feel something new again. As if a thousand needles were tearing me from inside. Shit, Mark. I get it. We forget. We forgot. Don't tell me. We forgot the fucking candles, Mark. Fucking candles. I think my strength is coming back to me. Huh. I can move again. So that's how it is. So she wanted to get rid of me all this time. Well... You know, you've brought me a lot of new sensations, feelings that I haven't experienced before. Now, after everything that happened, I'm so tired and I'm really hungry. I want to take you out to dinner. Mark, I think it's going to break out. Now it's your turn to come to my house. Revelation? <laughs> me and Mary is just another skull in my skull collection. From then on, the voices never ceased. They began to follow me around, follow me during the day. Laughter never ended, but it did annoy me. I finally found the meaning of my existence and began to laugh with, the, with these bizarre creatures of the night. I began to enjoy waiting for the new tenants, playing with them eventually, of course. My tunnels were discovered, but by this time, I had already managed to move to another dwelling. Especially since my collection has grown so much, I needed more space. I also read a newspaper that after my tunnels were discovered, they found the remains of my creator there. They, s they say they never seen anything like this in their lives. As for Mary, I can hardly find her skull among all these remains now. Not, and not that I would like to, but I am grateful to her. After her betrayal, I realized my place in the world, and now I work non-stop. When I get tired, I sit down and laugh non-stop while looking at my triumphant collection. Thank you for playing. Ending number two. Hmm. Interesting. I'm definitely going to come back to that. Oh god, no, 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 no. Forgot about that. Uh, here.
You know, let's play the, the demo to this. I don't have the full game. I wish I did. But let's... We're gonna end off stream playing this game. Cause I don't think I'll take. I think I'll take longer than. And I think. All right. Next game. Do not take your eyes away from the red fridge. This is the demo to the red fridge. I don't have the red fridge game. Stick the R, god damn it. Hey, game capture actually worked. Wait, refrigerator, elevator. Oh. I know you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Those are you will stay right there. The fridge. Mr. Fridge's body is gone. Whoa. Wants me that wants you to look at it. Do not take your eyes away from the right rip refrigerator. I'm trying to see if there is any code. Oh God! I. The do the doll makes me sleepy. Is there anything I need to find? Okay. I saw magnets. I don't know what to do, bookworm. I found a doll in this fridge. It's always when I exit. Now it's clear why the house is so cheap. Yeah, no shit. I just get to stare at it. Uh, is it? Watching my letter. There's gotta be something. Yeah, cause I'm seeing letters right here. Ah, I gotta find the letters. Yeah, fuck you. I didn't know I can move the letters. Insanely diff closer. Yeah. 
There has to be one underneath these papers. You are getting closer and I just think that. Oh! Fuck you! I'm only missing one letter. Oh wait, I got an idea. Nope, it's empty. Wait, there it is. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, there's a D somewhere. Where's the D? I, I must have the D, bookworm. Where's the D? Jesus, oh my god. Bookworm, I need you to give me your D so I can put it on the fridge. I wonder if it can't move. Okay, I think when it, that's playing, it can't move. There it is. Nice bitch! Yeah, fuck you! When the end. Alright, Bookworm. We're gonna see what happens if I die. So defrig. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you are fast. Anyways. I just get put in the refrigerator. Okay. You died. No shit. Yeah, I can't get the game yet. That hit the three hour mark, right? No, it didn't. Fuck. I thought the game would last longer. One more, I need more game. One more. You have two more minutes, yeah. This game's pretty fun. 
it has multiple choices too, so this will definitely last longer. Alright, so man in the park. Man in the park. As a Twitch category. Shut the fuck up, computer. It's fine. I have no idea how many endings there are. Oh, I don't have to have my phone up. Sweet. Hey! Why are you so small? There we go. All right. Oh, the controls. Please help. I can't find my grandson, Timmy. I saw him in the playground, but now I'm too tired to look. I'm worried he's hungry. Will you please find him? Thank you. So here's the thing, I'm gonna be a dick and leave. Surely if I help an old man. Fuck. I'm partially eating candy bar. It looks okay, maybe Timmy will like this. I can hear Timmy there. Press E E to give Timmy the candy bar. Gee, thanks, mister. Tell Grandpa I'll be there soon. Thanks for giving to me a snack. Come to think of it, I'm a little hungry myself. We helped the old man one more time. Oh. Guess Martin, extra rare. Again, I'm tired of eating out, the old man thinks to himself. Your body is never found. Timmy would like a, a half-eaten candy bar. Okay, so, uh, fuck you, I'm leaving. Don't throw the strangers, raw. <laughs> you made it home safely because you, did, you don't talk to strange people in the park at night. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. I think this time I don't get the candy bar. Timmy, are you in here, Timmy? Helping hand, medium rare, ending three, one to three. Timmy felt his dinner was a little bland. Your body is never found. They made a sequel to this, by the way. But I think that's going to be all for tonight. I am going to be streaming longer tomorrow. Because I'm going to try and finish Pokemon Emerald. That was short. Yeah. Tomorrow's stream should... Start at six o'clock. All right. So there's that. So hold on. <laughs> Pokemon, should I do it again where I axe hatchet their rating words? <laughs> oh wait, Lithix is on. 
I think I'll raid Olytics this time. Alright. And now I wait. Now Brent makes a decision to raid Lithix or her butt buddy. I think I'll do a Lithix. We'll do it again, like probably tomorrow. They, I don't think they'll show up for Pokemon. We'll do it tomorrow. We we'll mess with Hatchet. So yeah, let me mute so I can hear them. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna do it. Okay, so I can unmute. All right. Any last words for stream? I unmuted so you can do Tangi or anything. Is typing. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more answering ridiculous questions. Give her money to help her fight her medical debt. Oh my gosh, for once Tangia didn't sound like a robot. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, here we go, Bookworm. I got it. I definitely need to get more emotes. Yeah. But, um... Uh, you ready, Book? I think you're the only one really watching. Alright. 
especially the Daryl ones. Yeah. Alright, and three, two, one.